application. So let's see how to connect the Leica Xeno GT04 Plus with Eblos Survey Wizard. To connect the Leica Xeno GT04 Plus with Eblos Survey Wizard, we need to install another app. And that's an app of Leica. So we go to the Google Play Store and we search for Leica Xeno. And then there is the Leica Xeno Connect app. So we click on install. And now it's downloading. It's installing. And now we can open the app. So we click on open. And then we have to allow the access to photos, media and files. So we click allow. And then it says the application requires mock locations. Please activate in developer options. Would you like to open settings? So we would like to do that. So we click OK. And the mock locations are in developer options. But if you don't have that option on your tablet or phone yet, you have to click on about tablet. And then you have to go to software information. And there you click on the build number seven times. I already have this option, so it doesn't do anything anymore. So if you are not a developer yet, if you don't have those options, you click on the build number seven times in a row and then you will have the developer options. So now we go to the developer options. And then we go to select mock location app and there you can select the Xeno Connect app. After that we can go back to the Xeno Connect app and now it doesn't mention that message again to for the mock locations. The next step is to turn the Leica Xeno GG04 Plus on. So we push the power button till the light turns on and then the Leica Xeno GG04 Plus will start. So now we have to pair the Leica Xeno GG04 Plus with the tablet. So we go to settings and then we go to connections. We click on Bluetooth and then it scans all the Bluetooth devices. And now it found the Leica Xeno GG04 Plus. So we click on it and it wants to pair. It asked if we want to pair. Yes, we want. So we click on OK. And now we are paired. So after that, we can go to the Leica Xeno Connect app. And then we can go to settings and we click on antenna. And we click on the antenna that we want to connect to it. It says connecting and now it's connected. So after that we have to select the NMEA messages that we want to receive. And those are the GGA and GST. So we can turn the other ones off. And we want them one time per second. So that's okay. You can change that like this but one time per second is fine so then we click ok and then we want to go back after that you want to put the real-time corrections we will do the entry type so we click on the three dots behind and then we click on the data server and you can add a new entry network by clicking on a plus and then you have to give it a name and then you can fill in the address. And then the port. And then the user name. And then the password. So after filling the password, we make sure that it says use entry with server is on and then we can 
download all the mount points and we have to select the correct mount point after that we can click ok after doing this we can start AppGloss survey wizard when we are in AppGloss survey wizard we can go to the file menu and then to other settings here we have to make sure that the phone GPS is usable so we select yes and then we click OK and now we get the position of the Leica Zeno GG04 Plus and we can survey this works well so the Leica Zeno GG04 Plus determines the position and sends that position to the Leica Zeno Connect app the Leica Xeno Connect app makes sure the position is forwarded to the entry caster and sends the retrieved corrections back to the Leica Xeno GG04 Plus GNS receiver. Also the Leica Xeno Connect app overrides the GPS position of the Android device. And the easy to use Lensurvey app AppLossurvey Visit uses the position of that Android device. And that position is now very accurate because of it is the position of the Leica Xeno GG04 Plus. That is how it works. AppGloss Survey Wizard also works with other GNS receivers, for example the Amulet Reads RS2. In the video next to me you can see how you can connect the Amulet Reads RS2 with AppGloss Survey Wizard.